In this video, we're going to talk about the event pan and crop feature in Sony Vegas. What in the world is that? Well, it's easier demonstrated than said. So I've got a video clip here and I'm going to pull it down to the timeline. And here it is in the timeline. And when you add video clips to Sony Vegas in the video track right here, you're going to notice these two icons. Okay. And one is going to be video effects, which we'll get to in an upcoming video. And the other one, this funny looking square box, this is the event pan and crop feature in Sony Vegas. And by the way, if you're not seeing this on your video clip, it usually means that you need to uh, zoom in or zoom out on your clip. And the way you do that is you click on the clip and then you use the scroll wheel on your mouse. So right now I'm just, I'm not affecting the video. I'm just widening everything out so I can see more detail. And now I'm scrunching everything together. And usually if you can't see either of these icons, that's what you need to do. So I'm going to click on this event pan and crop window right here. Like such. And that's going to open a window that's going to fill my screen and you won't be able to see anything. So I'll resize it. Okay. And what this window basically does, well, it allows you to do several things. But just to demonstrate, it can allow me to determine how my video is centered on the screen. That's one of the things I can do. Or what I'll most likely do with it is it can allow me to zoom in. And that's what I want to show uh, an example of how to do right now. Because in this clip, you know, it might be helpful if I zoomed in on this microphone so people could see more detail. So I'm going to undo everything. I'm doing a control Z to do that. Now what most people are going to do when they decide, hey, I want to zoom in on something is they're going to grab this little playhead in the window right here. They're going to go through and they're going to say, okay, right here, I want to zoom in. And they'll go right like this. And they'll maybe zoom in like that. And then they go back to play their video. And what they find out is that the entire video becomes zoomed in. And that's because what this guy is right here is it's called a keyframe. And it's how we do animations in video. So the proper way to zoom in, rather than explain this and confuse you even more, the proper way to zoom in on something would be this. I'm going to delete this guy. First, what you want to do is you want to sync what you're seeing in this window and this playhead with what's actually in Vegas over here. And to do that, what you would do is click this guy, sync cursor. It's either going to be on or off. Okay, now it's off. Now it's on. And what that means is as I move this guy here, it's going to move in the Vegas timeline as well. So I'm always in sync with the two of them. So I'm going to go back here. and Let's say it's going to be, where do I want to be? Right here, I want to zoom in. I want the video to play normal as it normally would. Then at this point, I want it to zoom in. So rather than going up here and clicking, what I'm going to do is click this guy right here, which creates a keyframe. And what this is saying is from the beginning of the video until here, I want the video to look normal. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse here to zoom in on this guy a little bit more. And I'm going to move it across and I'm going to say right here, I want it to be zoomed. So I'm going to create another keyframe. Then I'm going to go over here and zoom it in like I want. So what this is saying is from here to here, be normal, and from here to here, slowly zoom in. Okay, so I can go across here, and I can just drag it across, and you can see this effect. It zooms in. Okay, now what I'm going to say is I want it to, to stay zoomed in until about right here. I'm not going to touch this up here. Then I'm going to pull it across here. I'm going to say I want it to zoom out. So I'm going to go here, create a keyframe. I'm going to pull this down until it's zoomed out. Or optionally, if you can't get this perfect, you can go back up here and simply change it to the size of your clip. So what all these crazy little dots mean is that from here to here, normal video. From here to here, it zooms in. From here to here, it stays zoomed in. And from here to here, it zooms back out to normal. So if I drag this across, we, I'll try to drag it slowly so you can see. Okay, 
Now it's done being normal, it's gonna start to zoom in. Now it's all the way zoomed into where I want it. It's gonna stay zoomed in until right here. Then it's gonna zoom back out to normal and then it will stay normal throughout the rest of the video. So that's how we use Invent, Pan, and Crop to zoom in on something properly. And I wanted to point this out because it can get real confusing unless you're aware of these guys here called keyframes. And if I want to get rid of everything and just have my clip being normal, I can just right click on each keyframe and choose Delete, 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 and Delete. And now my entire video will be normal, not being zoomed in. Now the other uh, reason that you need to know about event pan and crop is if you are working with photos. So I'm going to delete this clip from the timeline. I'm just going to highlight it, hit delete, and it's just removed from the timeline. And then I'll click over here to remove these tracks. So let's say you're working with photos. So I'm going to take this photo and pull it down to the timeline like this. Okay, now the first thing you'll notice is that by default when I add a photo, Vegas makes it five seconds long. Well, what if I want every photo that I add to my timeline to be 10 seconds long? The way you would change that is you would go up and choose Options. And again, you can't see it because it's running off your screen, but you would choose Preferences. And then you want to go to Editing. And this guy right here says New Still Image Length in Seconds. By right now, it's set to five seconds. I would change this to 10, and then every photo I add added would be 10 seconds. For example, if I change this to 10, Click Apply, OK. If I take the same photo again and add it, OK, now this guy is 10 seconds. It's twice as long as this one. But really, the whole point of this video is the event pan and crop. So when you add photos to Sony Vegas, maybe you're doing a little photo slideshow, whatever the case may be, what you'll notice is that most photos don't fill the window properly. And that's because photographs have different aspect ratios or dimensions than video, more times than not. So to make sure that everything is displayed properly, we're going to go into Event Pan and Crop. The window will open up. Again, I'm going to resize this so you can see what I'm doing. About like that. And what I want to do to make this guy fit is right click, and then choose Match Output Aspect. Boom, when I do that, Sony Vegas is kinda, kinda zoom in automatically for me and make sure everything fits. But the gotcha with doing this is just like the gotcha with doing the zooming in like I did with the video clip. You gotta be very aware of where your cursor is because what this actually did is it applied that effect right here, which is not the beginning of it. So I actually, I actually just did a little zoom in effect. And I didn't mean to do that. So what I can do is get rid of this guy. If I want the photo to fit the whole time, I need to make sure that I go back to the very beginning. Then right click and choose Match Output Aspect. And then during the five seconds of this clip as I play it, okay, everything is filling the entire screen. So that's basically what you're going to do with event pan and crop is either zooming or in the case of photos, making sure that they are displayed properly in your videos.